Sir John Wolfenden wrote the report to the British Parliament which led to the legalizing of homosexuality in Britain, and his findings unquestionably have influenced our own government, which is now proposing similar laws in Canada, that is, homosexual freedom between consenting adults in private. Sir John talked with Charles Templeton and Desmond Morton earlier this year. You start from the view that there are some actions, some forms of behavior, which most people would regard as sins, or at any rate as wrong, or as they say in some parts of England, not right. Or repugnant, or whatever. Or repugnant, or distasteful, or whatever. Now, the problem for the legislature, as I see it, is to try to decide which of those actions that are regarded as morally wrong should be made into crime, as to say, should be brought within the ambit of the criminal law. Now, unless you're going to try to legislate in such a way that you deliberately equate crime with sin, and if you do that, I strongly suspect that you abolish morality altogether, unless you're going to do that, then I think there must be some actions that remain sins but are not crimes. For instance, adultery, fornication, which you do not send people to prison. And we said that in this field that we were concerned with, and we said in this field explicitly, because we were not concerned with other, other fields, in this field, we worked out our own formulation of what the criminal law was for, and that was to preserve public order and decency, to protect the citizen from what was injurious, and to safeguard people against exploitation from others. Sir John, I'd like to put a question to you, if I may. You hold that it ought not to be illegal if it's private between consenting adults. Do you hold it to be immoral? The Homosexual Act. Well, um, very awkward question. I think it depends again a bit what you mean by moral. I mean, it depends very much on what your uh, what your standards of moral judgment are, what your criteria are. I, I'm interested in yours. Well, uh, I myself don't use the word immoral if I can help it, unless uh, there's going to be involved in this some uh, damage to some other personality. Would you say that it was not improper? under the circumstances of the, uh, the law now uh, obtained in, in England. Improper? Yes. I'm not sure what that means. Well, then let me pursue it and put it this way. If it is held that it is not illegal, yep. and it may not be immoral, mm -hmm. uh, would you go so far as to advocate marriage among homosexuality? No, homosexuality? I, wouldn't, I wouldn't advocate it. I wouldn't, um, certainly I wouldn't send people to prison for it. I, I would regard it as conduct which was, to me personally, distasteful.